Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Interesting, interesting week. Another interesting week setting up. Some things starting to break up a little bit, some things not. But here's the, the thing. The market is... Oh, my God. Easier for everybody here. Okay, hopefully that's better. The market is about... Good news has to be good news. Bad news has to be bad news. And over time, and I can, it can change for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, but over time it has to fix itself. Let me tell you, let's say you buy Peloton and it goes up two points. And the company is about to go to shit. It's about to go bankrupt. Okay, it went up $2. That's okay. Doesn't mean the company isn't shit. Okay? Think about this. Everybody's talking about AI and everybody's going to make money in AI. Nobody's making money in AI. Nobody. Microsoft lied to you. Nobody's making money in AI. Will they? Probably. How much? Don't know. But think, think about this. The CEO of AI uh, comes out, Tom Siebel, I believe, and says, He's never seen demand like this, but doesn't guide up. Stock goes up 20. Okay? NVIDIA comes out and says, great stuff, and everybody says that they're lying. Now, really? You, you can't make this stuff up. So they sell the winners, and they buy the losers. Caterpillar, the CEO who every single quarter comes out and says things aren't great, things aren't so good, even with great results. He says, everything is, yeah, I wouldn't get too excited. And then he finally says, everything is good. Everything is great. First time in 10 years. And the stock goes up. And three weeks later, three weeks later, it's down 21 points. NVIDIA hits 518, down 65 points. Avago hits 922, down 75 points. Land Research hits 725, down 75 points. Meta hits 422, down 45 points. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on. And every one of them, most of them, the great earnings, they all go down. BKNG beats by $9, $9, guides up, and everybody says, oh, the travel is going to stop. Well, let me tell you something about the economy. The travel is not going to stop. People don't care. They don't care if they're out of money. They're just going to do it. They're just going to do it. Okay? And here, here's the thing that nobody has said. And this Sam's the first guy that's going to ever say this, that you're ever going to hear this from. Why, if, if there's a recession, do people have to stop spending money and why do things get bad? Why can't they just spend less for a month and go back to spending more the next month? Right? I mean, see, that, that concept doesn't make any sense to me. And maybe that we're in a whole new world, a whole new paradigm, and that's what happens. Now, deer kills earnings, guides up, goes down. Deer, the quarter before, kills earnings and, and guides up, and the CEO says, well, we may have a recession, so it goes down. So it doesn't matter what he says. It goes down and goes down. Okay, that's the market you have. So today, the market that you need this week is very, very simple. I mean, this is stupid simple. If NVIDIA can't go up, all, everything else that goes up will come down. It will come down. Your test line is up nicely, six points, will come down. Every single thing, if the best of the best can't go up, then everything else will go down. Doesn't mean they don't go up for a day or two or four days and you can buy them, but they will come down. 
okay? It's that simple. You just watch NVIDIA, it's going to tell you where the market goes. doesn't mean it goes there today. It just means where it goes there soon, okay? Caterpillar has to get better, and Lime Research has to get better. We keep telling you that. If those two can't go up with NVIDIA, why would you buy anything on the upside? It's a kind of trick. Now, Boeing, very interesting. Boeing has 80 planes sitting ready to do. Now, here's the thing. Very interesting on the Boeing situation. And, you know, because Sam is kind of, you know, it's Sam, uniquely different, okay? If you were going to go buy a car, and let's say you have a Porsche. You have a brand new Porsche, uh, five years old, never been driven, five years old, has like two miles. Are you going to trust that car? You going to trust it? Five years old? The rubber sitting there on the tires that may be no good in heat, say it's sitting in Texas, 110 degrees, outdoor, the leather. Maybe it's okay for a day, a week, a month whatever. Are you going to trust that car? Are you going to pay them? Let's say that the sticker on it was hundred grand. Are you going to pay a hundred grand? The first thing you're going to say, why is that car still there? Okay, so now let's go to Boeing. Now, I understand Boeing has all these planes, but what I don't understand with Boeing is if you have a plane and China says you can't sell it to me, and that Boeing plane is sitting there for four years. Would you, in four years, would you have not sold that to somebody? If you could. Now, maybe they can. It's a different story. But China's supposed to take delivery of all these planes. Are they going to take delivery at full price? I don't know. I just, I don't know. Are they all going to have to do test flights and everything else? So even when, when, they say ready to go, it's still going to take a little while. I don't know. But I know if the news comes that China approves that Boeing can and sell, we're going to pop. Probably pop 20 points. Then doesn't mean it goes up more. Probably comes all the way back down because of what I'm just telling you. Do you, do you really think you're going to have a plane that's ready to go? that hasn't been operated for four years, not take a flight and check everything out and, and all this other stuff. I mean, shit, I wouldn't fly in it. I mean, no different than a car, right? Sitting in Boeing, saying, sitting on wherever it is, outdoor, with the sun hitting it nonstop and the heat. I mean, that's just my opinion. So just know that. So that that's out there. doesn't mean it doesn't pop today. I think it pops today. You know, then we see. Uh, Carvana. Interesting. 44. If it can get 44, does it try to run? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay? So that's what we know. That's what's happening. But NVIDIA has a buyback. So, he see, this is really interesting to me because, because I'm just uniquely different. If, if if I have a buyback and I know this is my demand and I know next quarter is going to be even better, why wouldn't you buy $25 billion worth of stock today at 460 Why do I want to wait to 500 Oh, I'm going to buy $10 million this week, $10 million next week. Why would you do that? You already have the inside information. Why wouldn't you buy all $25 billion today? Isn't that interesting? Interesting. Just something to contemplate. Okay? But the techs are up, uh, Microsoft, all these things are up. But we had this breakout on Thursday, and it completely failed. So now you have numbers. SMCI, 303. Microsoft, 333. You have all these numbers, define numbers. But you need them to go with the leaders. So you need them to go with NVIDIA. Lamb Research, and Caterpillar. And then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay, let's get going here. Uh, let me get to comments, questions. Okay. Uh, 828, end of month. End of month buying. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay. Uh, crazy month. 
crazy month. Uh, SPX is up 12 earlier. It is up 17. Continues to go. Okay. So 45, 22, 44, 22, 44, 51. 44, 51, 4,500. Powell really didn't say nothing. So here's the problem with Powell. Okay. And this is the problem the market has with Powell. If you tell me, I don't know what's going to happen. If, if, if you and your wife are talking and you're going to go buy a new house, you're not going to buy a new house, you're going to buy a new car, and you say, I don't know what's going to happen with my job. Maybe I lose it. Maybe I don't. What do you do? What do you do if you don't know? You do nothing. You do nothing. And Paul says, we don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. We don't know what the market going to do. So you don't know what it's going to do, but we may need more higher rates. So what he should have said is, we don't know. Maybe we, we, it goes way up. Maybe it goes way down. We don't know. So we're going to take 90 days to look. That's what he should have said. I mean, you just randomly make shit up. People randomly make shit up. Okay? Uh, downside, 4381, 4352. Avago, earnings this week, I believe. Uh, so keep an eye on that one. I think it's this week. Uh, 922, 981. Now, let's say Avago is the only other one well, I'm hearing that's making money off this AI. So they're going to have great numbers. Well, NVIDIA had great numbers. <laughs> so just know this, okay? Uh, downside, 821. NVIDIA, very straightforward. If this can get through 466 and 479, then it can run. Those are the two big numbers. Land Research, 692. Meta, round number 300, 303. Hand W, 241, Z scaler, 148, 152, Lily, 556, 561, MDB, 392, underneath 332, Snowman, 162, underneath 146, Caterpillar, 277, 282, big number, 288, Beast, Tarvana, 44. BKNG, 3122. Boeing, 226, 229. Netflix, 432. SMCI, 300. 272, 300. 303 accelerator. Amazon, 138. NOW, 572, 591. Microsoft, 333. Tesla, 244. It's sitting at 244. 252. That's all we know. That's all we know. Everybody have a great trading day. See you in chat.